I gotta sure. be in here. You don't yeah, have you to be in here. here. I gotta be in here. I gotta have an IT guy, a piano tuner, and <laughs> what do you do? Chemical operator. There you go. So That's if I right. stand up here, it makes me look a little bit taller. <laughs> That's not gonna help. All right, guys. Guess what? Uh, I got an intro video going on this time. Uh, so I have not got to dive that much this year because I've been working too much, which is a problem, right? Which means Combs oh. and everybody else, well, maybe not Chris, is well ahead of me this year. No, <laughs> not me. Big Chris. That's right. we got Chris Martin on the boat today. First time in a year and a half. Bazillion. What? Yeah. Longer than more than a year and a half. Or, or longer. Yeah. Okay, or longer. So uh, doing spearfishing today, going to some of our normal spots where you'd normally go to. I don't think we're going to explore very much today, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. So let's get out there and kill some fish, people, before they uh, make it where we can only shoot one fish per person per day of any kind, because that's where they're going. Anyway. Yeah. So as you can see here, the viz is really good, probably 60 plus, um, but not too many fish came off this ledge. So when there's no fish, you got to go for lobster. You got to have the reflexes of a cat to get slippers like this. Whiff. <laughs> Let me show you how to do it, Brian. Check out this superior technique. What finesse, man. Officers like, ha, see you, sucker, too slow. So we really weren't finding fish offshore, and I knew that gags were inshore, so we came to about a 25, 26 mile ledge, something like that. But there was so much organic material in the water here, in this area, that 
it was almost impossible to hunt here. There, it, not so much when you're looking at it through the camera, but when you're diving, your depth perception is thrown off so much, but all this stuff suspended in the water, you really can't hunt. You can have a fish right beside you and not be able to see it. With the visibility like it was, we finally just gave up trying to see them out swimming around, so I finally started looking on the rocks toward the end of the dive. I wish I had done that earlier because we probably would have found some more fish. So let's talk about situational awareness. Uh, so I'm uber focused on this lobster right here in front of me. Rightfully so, by and large, um, because he looks rather tasty. However, see all those lionfish on the top of that ledge? Well, that is going to be a problem here in a few minutes. <laughs> So I felt those spines go through my wetsuit and into my knees, so I knew I didn't have long before it was going to start hurting a lot. So I decided to do what I could and make the most of it. Uh, and so, of course, what do you do? Well, try to get a lobster, man. What else would I do? <laughs> So I end up getting that little rascal, that one right there. But about right here, I'm starting to think, whew, man, that thing is, that's really starting to hurt. I mean, that's really starting to hurt. So this is nothing but Mr. Combs being greedy. I mean, look at all this lobster there, right? Had ample opportunity to get plenty of lobster. Although most of them did have eggs, nevertheless. Look at this. He's got a lobster in his hand. He's like, oh, oh, that one. I can get two. Look, I can get two. I can double hand that thing. And you end up with, well, no lobster. <laughs> That lobster bounced off my face. And uh, I reached up and grabbed it. Good thing, because uh, I didn't want a lobster in the face. Oh, 
so my lobster bag got bent on the ledge so now it's kind of you got an opening in it now which i have to fix but this little guy scooted out during that time period but his escape was short-lived so going back to lobster prison for you buddy so line fisting no joke man most intense pain ever had in my life but i was not going to be deterred swelling stiff leg can't use it good thing you got a scooter you know what i'm saying because if you can't swim with but one leg you gotta have a scooter to keep on rolling <laughs> felt bad for missing that little hog, but Combs made me feel so much better when he missed it too. Now, in all honesty, his shaft is very bent, and so he wasn't going to hit anything with that shaft, and uh, we didn't know that till later though. But for now, it made me feel better. Thanks, Combs. was a fish on that but unfortunately he popped off when I started to pull him out from the ledge mm, 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 mm. Dude, I was stoked. I can't use but one leg, and I caught that thing like a football. Heck yeah, man. That was awesome. <laughs> that was so cool. That was cool.
<laughs> Dude, you should see it. I saw him shout goodbye. I was like, Phew! shot. Yeah. Dude, we, we chased that, <laughs> that yeah, fish Was that forever. the same one? That's the same hole, oh, dude. Oh, my God. We chased that thing for what 200 yards. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 So absolutely nothing happened on this dive until the very end. I mean, we swam 40 minutes around this rock and saw nothing. But at the very end, we're undoing a gun, getting ready to go up, and of course, there he is. Saw a big uh, scamp at the very end. Uh, getting ready to go into deco. All go, it always goes that way. So these were two nice big scamps and I can't believe it I missed this I missed it the first time and he didn't move um, I should there's a lot of shoulds here I should take my light out so I could clearly see what I was shooting at because it's kind of dark in there I didn't do that and right here I had two power heads on the side of my um, BC here I could have took one off and put on here and make sure that he did not move but I didn't do that either so it's a lot of things I should have and did not do. Sorry to leave it there at the end. Okay. What'd you take off at? Oh, dude, there are two huge scamps over there. I mean, some monsters. You're kidding. Nope. So I just want to throw in a little snippet uh, here. We've got several teams on the boat, and this particular team is Bren and Rob. Rob's trying to get Bren to go down and get that lobster, and Bren's like, I don't want a lobster when you can have hog, man. Bryn was so happy he got that hog, he had to do a little dance. Swing her to the left, swing her to the right, somebody's gonna be eating hog tonight. So I swear you can hear that lobster snicker and that goes over that, uh, little rise there but unfortunately for him Rob gets the last laugh because he's like I'm gonna teach you a lesson about leverage
So overall, it was a pretty good day, considering when the fish were kind of sparse. So it's time to go home in the old mega cat. So hope y'all enjoyed the video. Until next time, people.